I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated. Happy Friday! Woohoo! I know, another week! Woo! And I have some bean stack news for you. I know we didn't have school last Friday, but that did not stop people from writing reviews and reading minutes. So I was super excited about our numbers this time. In kindergarten, in second place, Miss Newcomb with 237. Miss Randall's taking it away, 2,105. Way to go. In first grade, Miss Zachariah in second place with 3,335. And listen carefully to the next number because it's pretty close. Miss Eels with 3,400. 484. Oh, that's, that's a math race. there for you, mm -hmm. first graders. All right, in second in second grade, I have Miss Howe in second place. I haven't said your name yet this year, Miss Howe, so I'm so happy. You had 782 minutes. And Miss Augustine, 2002. Way to go. Oh. In third grade, we're looking at reviews. This teacher just started this week and she's in second place. Miss Ruddy, oh. 15. Miss Ruddy's class, good job keeping up with things while Miss <laughs> Rivera is out having that baby. And Miss Slater, you're in first place with 21. In fourth grade, Mr. Hobbs, 45, and in second place. And Miss Ford's class, 64, in first. Fifth grade didn't have quite enough to even announce, so I'm gonna pass that on. But I do have a favorite review. Now this person didn't write just one, they wrote several. And the reason why Miss Bailey is because this person's getting ready for third grade. Oh. Kaylee Perkins in Miss Howe's class. She wrote a couple of really good ones. She wrote about Wallace, Grace the Cupcake Caper, Kindness Club, Pig and Pug, and How to Rock a Snowy Day. And I love, Kaylee, how you always included the beginning, middle, and an end. Their third grade teacher is going to be so excited to see you walk in. I'm excited for you. Oh, yeah. Me too. Yeah. All right. So, since we didn't have our news uh, last week, we weren't able to announce our um, Mathematicians of the Month for last week. So, they trickled in, and I don't. I want to make sure that they are recognized. We have Landon Shaw, and remember, this is for reasonableness. Uh, Caleb Starkman, Max Gamba, Gabe Niebauer. Maximiliano Torres Rizzo. That's a fun name. I like it. We've got Tristan Lynn, Tammy Tran, Adrian Novaki, Novaku. Sorry, my bad. <laughs> Noah Brown, Sophia Marrero Rodriguez, Nail Nailies. Mercedes Cruz. Yeah. Mercedes Cruz. We've got Tyler Brewer. And that's all we have for now. Great job, guys. Yay. What's the next uh, skill? Oh, we've got real world math. Whoa. How to apply what we're learning in the classroom into our real world. You know what? I've been actually walking around mm -hmm. and seeing people in math class, and you guys are doing a really good job of doing that, especially with area and perimeter in uh, third grade. Oh, that's some hard stuff. And it's almost yeah. like reading comprehension at the same time. Yeah. Yeah, I love it. All right. Well, you guys know, keep reading. Keep mathing. Bye. Hello, it's the moment you've all been waiting for and asking me about. The time has come to know the winner of Music March Madness. And the way I'm gonna tell you is through song. Are you ready? Mrs. Stokey, are you ready? She didn't know I was gonna do this. Her face lit up. All right, you ready for this? Sweet dreams are made of these. Miss Holla, go on the competition with ease. Waka Waka was begging please. Everybody was voting for something. You guys get it? You get who won? Sweet Dreams Are Made of These was the winning song, and that was Mrs. Holliga's song. So she will be getting a prize from me shortly. And then in second place was also a second grade teacher, Mrs. Curlin, came in second place with Waka Waka, this time for Africa. 
And there we have it, guys. Those were those top two songs. And the winner was Sweet Dreams. So great, great, great March Music Madness season this year. I cannot wait for next year's theme. Have a good one. Happy Friday, dragons. Welcome back to the morning show and the birthday segment. Now, we did miss last week's birthdays with it being that weird four-day week last week. So I'm going to start with last week's birthday so we can cheer for those friends. Wish them a happy belated birthday. So last week, we had a lot of birthdays. Happy birthday to Paige Adams, Drew Shaw, Katie Yarbrough, Kendall Burtz, Margot Romero, Shanique Alvarez, Carson Kelly, Natalia Stroud, Kaysen Zachariah, Miles Murphy, Ojel Vias, Braddock Anderson, Delilah Etheridge, Evelyn Flegor, Mary Iberonki, Emma Maxwell, and Emanuela Perez Faria. Now, this week we also have a ton of birthdays. On Monday, we had two birthdays. Happy birthday to Kylie Albert and Quinn Truong. Then on Tuesday, we had one birthday. Happy birthday to Sadie Mamarello. On Wednesday, we had one birthday. Miss Aaliyah Johnson, happy birthday. On Thursday, we had one, two, three, four birthdays on Thursday. Happy birthday to Paige Davis, Caleb Pasley, Grace Sanchez, and Dylan Zhang. Today, there are two birthdays. Happy birthday to Audrey Belanti and Zabit Zafrula. Then this weekend, we have six birthdays to celebrate. Happy birthday to Hamza O'Day, Leah Williams, Nathan Zoitlin, Sean Colvin, Anthony Wynn, and Emily Rigney. And that's all, folks. I hope everyone's having a lovely April birthday season. Hey, dragons. It's been a while. I am back with some April teacher birthdays. Miss Barbosa's birthday was on the 8th. Miss Randall's birthday was on the 11th. Miss Ford's birthday was on the 12th. And next week we have Miss Sandoval's birthday on the 22nd. And Miss Thomas and Miss Russian's birthday on the 25th. So when you see any of these teachers, make sure you wish them a very, very happy birthday. Bye.